good morning. My name is Dr. Natalie Hare, and I'm a licensed chiropractor in Texas, Oklahoma, and Ohio. And I am certified with the American Veterinary Chiropractic Association for Animal Chiropractic. And this morning I'm here to talk to you about cold laser therapy. And the thing that people always ask about cold laser is that, it, is it cold? And the answer is no, it's not cold. It means that there's no heat producing laser versus like a surgical laser. So a cold laser can also be considered like a low level laser because of um, the amount of energy that it produces or, or lack thereof. So cold lasers, um, we use for a lot of different things. We use them for um, healing. We use them for tendon injuries. We can use them for pain and inflammation. A lot of it just depends upon the injury and the settings of the laser. I'm going to talk to a little bit more in detail about those things and what to look for if you're purchasing a laser. So there's four different types of lasers considered in a class. It's class 1, 2, 3B, and class 4. Most of the lasers um, that you're going to be seeing used on horses are going to be a class 3B laser. Um, those are a good middle range laser as far as power. And the way that a laser is classified is it's dependent upon the power of the laser. And um, sometimes even a class 3B can actually be more powerful than a 4 because it actually has to deal with the, each single laser beam is what they're judging the power on. So a class 4 can have a power beam of 750 versus a class B, 3B, can have two beams of 500 and that would mean a thousand. So it just has to depend upon the um, power of the laser is where it's classified as. And as far as wavelength goes, that's also the most critical point. Most horse lasers are going to be around 800 to 850. Those are your ones that are actually going to help with your healing and um, the pain and inflammation, which is mostly what we're geared at. At a lower wavelength, around 650, you're going to look more towards like a wound healing type of laser. But the main thing I have people ask me about is the comparison of, you know, what I use is a class 3B versus ones that they can buy. And I'm just going to tell you for a good starting point, unless you're paying several thousand dollars for a laser, you're just not going to get the power behind it. And that's what really depends upon the treatment time of your laser. What I can treat with my laser in three to four minutes, it would take a lower one 20 to 30 minutes. So the ones that you see that are handheld, that are very small, focal point is that you're going to have to use those lasers for a good 30 minutes to get any type of therapeutic benefit of it. So it's not necessarily that they're good or bad, but it's the fact of, are you going to stand there and hold a laser for 30 minutes on one point? And it wouldn't be a bad thing if it was, um, a, you know, an injury where you had a wound or a cut and you could do a small laser. And we're going to go into my laser in a little bit, but it's got a bigger head, so it treats a lot broader of an area because I treated um, musculoskeletal injuries and I add it with my chiropractic. So this is a Chattanooga Vector Genesis laser. This is a class 3B laser, and this is only sold to licensed medical professionals. So this is, can be sold to chiropractors, um, nurses, as well as medical um, MDs or DOs. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I liked this laser is because it's FDA approved for people. So I'm able to use this in my people practice as well as my equine practice. And this has a lot of different settings as far as wound healing to the whole way up to uh, muscle and ligament healing. And it also has 33 diodes. And that's a huge selling point for me on choosing the laser because like we talked about, it's all about the laser and the power behind it. So I get to treat a very large area with a lot of, um, a lot of uh, laser beams versus a smaller laser that has less power and only a few beams. So for safety, um, every class 3B laser is gonna have some type of cutoff switch because even though this does not get hot and it's safe to the touch, it can still be very dangerous to your eyes and your horse's eyes as well. So I use my laser on mostly spinal injuries. Um, when I adjust chiropractic wise, um, you know, I'm fixing misalignments, I'm looking for back soreness, and then I go back over and I treat the areas that I found that were most sore. 
Because the chiropractic care is going to help uh, align the spine, it's going to take pressure off the nerve, but a lot of times there's some residual soreness and even some muscle spasm. And that's what I find with the chiropractic that I just get better results on my horses um, when I use the combination of the chiropractic and the cold laser. I have used it on some superficial wound healing and bruising on patients, and it's worked fantastic. I can just tell you from my experience um, that it, it works really well for pain and inflammation in the back. So my recommendations is that if you're looking to purchase a laser for yourself, for your horse, um, to use is that I would look for a class 3B laser, I would look for a wavelength between 800 and 850, and I would look for wattage wise at least a thousand milliwatts of power. Um, that's going to give you that smaller treatment plan. Um, one thing that I've seen that was kind of a really neat idea was called Revival Vet, where they actually had a pad with about 20 or 30 different laser diodes and that would go over the back of your horse and that one you could sit and leave for 15 or 20 minutes and um, you would still get that therapeutic dose of the laser over a large period of time. So that was a really good product that I found. And if you have any questions or if you want me to look at a model for you and give any recommendations, just feel free to message me on Facebook. It's under Dr. Natalie Hare or our business page, which is NorthTexasEquine.com.